All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I would like to give all praise and glory unto Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shah, Bahashem Rakakodash. Double honors unto the apostles and the elders of GMS who rule well, teach well, being great example to his younger brothers. And peace and blessing, salutation, the hopeful leg out there pushing his words in truth and in sincerity across the four winds in the name of Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shah, pushing to get up out of here. Shalom to the hopeful leg, the believers, the listeners. Whom have came back to the obedience of the scriptures through faith in you, how about Shem Al Shai? And what I want to get into today, you know, is pretty much, all right, how, <laughs> you know, women, you know, have, you know, have and are dominating, you know, the men of this society, all right? The modern woman, you know, is pretty much, you know, in the dominant position when it comes to the family structure of this modern day society. And on um, the brother, you know, left a comment, you know, and I'm just reading it. And I said, man, this is a goddamn shame, man. All right? This is a goddamn shame, you know, how, you know, men have became so spineless and so weak, you know, when it comes to women. Now, of course, you know, we're all in the flesh, and we all have been, you know, uh, 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 weak and, you know, had a, a simp mentality towards women, <clears throat> you know, especially coming up in this society. You know, some brothers, you know, more than others. But all in all, that's one of the things within this ministry that we have to overcome. All right. Well, that's why when Yahweh Shai came, you know, as himself, he didn't even deal with the woman. He knew he had to overcome that, you know, because as Adam, you know, he failed de dealing with the woman, you know, and Solomon, you know, he failed, you know, dealing with women. You see, women, you know, <laughs> hey, women have a strong influence on the mindset of men. And one of the things that we have to conquer in this ministry is, you know, that influence, all right, that women have, you know, over our mindsets. You see? So I'm reading this comment. It says, this society is from Brother Brendan Hopeful 144. It says, this society is backwards. At the gig, all right, talking about the job, he said, he, I know a coworker that received the juice because his woman pressed him. She doesn't pay any bills and she doesn't work, but the brother was scared to go home after work because of the pressure he got from his woman. Personally, I don't think there's anything wrong with Eve making a suggestion but Israelite men, northern and southern kingdom, need to really be men again and start making final decisions. Yeah, man, and brother, you know, that's, that's, that's a good mindset because women, we know, like when the scriptures talk about women, you know, being in silence, all right, that doesn't mean that the woman is just a mute, you know, she doesn't have, you know, any say-so about certain things, all right, because, hey, sometimes a woman has a good idea, all right, and if it for the household, we're going to roll with it, you know? Um, you know, uh, the scriptures don't promote us to walk around in pride, like, you know, just disregard anything the woman says. No, if she might have a suggestion, you know, that's, that, that's a good idea, all right, that can benefit the household. Hey, we're going to use it, all right? My mentality, even at, at work, I tell these guys, look, man, we're going to use the best idea no matter who it comes from. If it ease up, if it, if it, if it makes us more efficient, we're going to use it, man. <laughs> you see? But at the end of the day, there's some things where, hey, uh, as, as a leader, you know, you have to make that executive decision, you know, and that be final, all right? And that's what we're gaining back in this ministry is our manhood. Now, when you go to First Ezra 4, and, um, all right, because they were speaking about what's the strongest, you know, one said, you know, wine, one said the king, one said woman, but ultimately, you know, the truth overrode everything. All right. But when you go into when he's describing a woman, this is what we're seeing playing out, you know, today. All right. This is uh first Ezra 4 and 14. And it says, O ye men, is not the great king nor the multitude of men. Neither is it wine that excel it. Who is it then that ruleth them or have the Lord shit over them? Are they not women? Women have borne the king and all the people that bear rule by seeing land and see this is a narrative that's been pushed heavy within this society as if life, you know, revolves around the woman, you know, because she carries the baby, you know, and the, and the baby comes, you know, out of her, you know, this doctrine of the life revolve around the woman has created this narrative and this dominant posture that you see women have today. All right. Now, women are needed. OK. All right. But the but existence doesn't revolve around them. They play a vital part, you know, within life and nurturing the nation, but existence doesn't revolve around them. All right. That's the, the, the misconception. 
You see, but this the narrative that's pushed. All right, and through this mind, through this narrative, women have you know women have the lordship over the over, over these modern men, and it says women have borne the king and all the people that bear rule by sea and land. Even of them came they, and they nourished them up that planted the vineyards from whence the wine cometh. These also make garments for men. These bring men glory. These bring glory unto men, and without women. All right, cannot men be, and this is their narrative. Their life revolves around them, and then another narrative. Eve thinks that the Israelite man can't be successful without her black ass, man. And that's another narrative that's you know been pushed, man. False narrative, man. All right, get your ass out of here, man. This is verse verse eighteen. He said, "Yeah, and if a man have gathered together gold and silver, or any other goodly thing, do they not do they not love a woman?" which is comely in favor and beauty you see because right now the gold and silver today you know will be you know the money the frn notes you know and that jake is in a situation where he pay all the bills so he's going to gather for her to live comfortable now there's nothing wrong with that all right but then she gonna suggest you to take death <laughs> you know she gonna suggest you to choose death in order for her to be in comfort now that's the problem you know, if you got a situation where your woman doesn't have to work, you know, and she aids you and, and you know, forwards you, then, you know, there's nothing wrong with that. You see? But here it is. You paying all the bills, but she's making all the decisions. That's super backwards. All right? And that's extremely stupid. You see? Because her mindset is just to preserve her. She don't care about what you got to go through to keep her comfortable. Just keep doing whatever you got to do to keep her comfortable, man. All right? Like I say, you brothers, you know, you sisters, hey, whatever your relationship is, hey, that's on you. You know, if you like it, I love it, all right? I'm just saying, for me, my, I'm just giving my perspective, all right? Because you can't pull a side motherfucker on me, all right? This is um, First Ezra 4 and uh, 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 20. It says, a man leave it his own father that brought him up in his own country and cleave it unto his wife. He, he sticketh not to spend his life with his wife. All right, and remember neither father nor mother nor country by this also ye must know that women have dominion over you do ye not labor and toil and give and bring all to the woman yeah happy wife happy life that 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 mindset <laughs> you see and it says yeah a man taketh his sword and go of his way to rob and steal and to sail upon the sea and upon rivers and look it upon a lion and go in the darkness when he have stolen spoiled and robbed he bring it to his love yeah the penitentiary is full of men all right who their motivation to do their crimes or you know murders or you know to steal and to rob all right what's behind what the woman to keep her in comfort to keep her in pleasure to maintain a lifestyle for this woman you see and even like with Jake, man, here it is. You know, he's pressured to take the juice. You know, she's throwing them to the serpents so she can be in comfort, man. <laughs> you see? And it says, well, for a man loving his wife better than father and mother. Yeah, many there be that have run out of their wits for women and become servants for their sakes. You see? There's a lot of men in this situation where their, their life is centered around serving that woman and appeasing her. All right, he's terrified to go home because of the pressure that the woman gave him, but he's not terrified by your how about Shima was shot. All right, that's ass backwards. And, and it's going to be a hell of a judgment for that mind frame, man. You know? And it says, Many also have perished, have erred, and have sinned for women. And now do ye not believe it is not the king great in his power? Do not all regions fear to touch him yet all right so he's like look the king is people that's afraid to touch him you know <laughs> but then he goes into an account yet did i see him yet did i see him and uh ape me the king's concubine the daughter of the admiral Bartikus, sitting at the right hand of the king and taking the crown from his from the king's head and sitting up on her own head and that's what a lot of women do like there's a lot of men who have influence and power in society all right but those women pretty much you know get with those men manipulate those men and then they start running the show all right 
uh, 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 with the power that the men that the man has gained, like Gabriel Union. All right, she doesn't. She didn't have all this rank and authority, you know, in society. Where did she get it from? Dwayne Wade. She put his crown on her head, and she's calling the shots. Uh, 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 Will Smith. All right, he the one that set records at the box office and all these, you know, accomplishments and you know accolades. All right, but then you got all right. Uh, 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 Jada Pickett Smith, she put his crown on and she's calling the shots, man. You know, just to put it in modern times, man. You see? <laughs> All right. So, yeah, that's the point, man. Jake finished, man. All right. And, 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 and there's a lot of women, there's a lot of households that's dominated by women that's finna go into the slaughterhouse, man. You know? Any house that's ruled by a woman and that woman is not guided, you know, in the spirit. All right. Uh, uh, under the vibration of an Israelite man, they finna be through. They finna be destroyed, man. So I was looking at this, and I said, "It's a goddamn shame, man." You know, Shalom.